Hi, I'm Darren from Isotonic Studios. Today we're going to be looking at the Looper Scrub XL device, which is part of the modular series from isotonicstudios.com. To demonstrate it, I've got the Akai Force, which is running the current beta with the live integration. As you can see here, the, the clips of my session grid are, are represented on the screen and I can actually trigger them from there as well. Um, it's getting close to being one of the perfect uh, controllers for Ableton Live. Obviously missing a few bits at the moment, but it's early days. And in stark contrast, I've got the uh, brand new Launchpad Mini, which has become my go-to controller. Goes everywhere with me, it's so tiny, fits in a bag, and it's got user mode, which means I can map it how I want, I can use Max for Live to create things, and it's an eight by eight grid of buttons. It's as simple as that. Now, in the previous video, if you've watched it, we created a, uh, a broken up version of Mr. Kirk's Nightmare that basically is shortened versions with the various parts of the song, which enable me to trigger them as hot cues going down my set. And on the track, we've got follow clip Excel. So when that particular clip ends, what's gonna happen is it's going to trigger the next clip below it. From a DJ background myself and really got into Serato for digital DJing and combining it with Ableton Link as my third deck. But if these clips are gonna play sequentially down, I'll have to re-trigger them on time if I want to do a loop, for example. Now I can do that in two ways. I could MIDI map the again button of follow clip XL and MIDI map the next button. So it would loop over the length of the clip, but I don't have the wherewithal to know that I want to set a loop and it's going to be 16 bars long because that's how long this clip is. So we'll basically take that long to repeat again. If we look at the follow, sorry, the Looper Scrub XL device, we've set up with down to 32 uh, and up to four bar, different loop lengths, which can all be individually MIDI mapped. And what I've done is I've started at four bars and I've mapped that to the top buttons, the longest, then it goes to two bars, one bar, half a bar. Then my bottom four buttons here will double the length of the loop, halve the length of the loop, move it forwards and move it back. Now loop isn't strictly speaking correct because this is the looper scrub device. And instead of actually moving the loop brace in what you call a destructive manner, because wherever you leave it is gonna be saved with the clip, it actually manipulates the playhead. Okay, so let's have a look at the clip itself and we can see effectively how it behaves with the audio. So we'll launch this one and we'll set a four bar loop. As you can see, the orange bar represents that scrub head. So it's gonna jump back to that point and that's gonna keep going. And of course the loop brace itself isn't engaged. So I can just turn it off at will. and it will carry on playing because it's finished its loop effectively. Set another one. And this time let's let it run to the end and we're going to halve it. So let's halve it down. And halve it again. Halve it again, halve it again. And you can go down to 130 seconds Double touch, we'll just remove it back from there. And because it's not adjusting the loop brace and turning the loop on, it continues to work with Follow Clip XL because that will naturally allow it to get to the, the clip end and then move on as well. We do have uh, some hidden controls here, which are really just exposed for the push to uh, for the screen and you basically get to use the dials on the push to to create the, the halving and doubling feature and functionality. That's it, Looper Scrub XL, very simple, really effective, all part of the mo modular series from isotonicstudios.com. Thanks for watching and cheers.